Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. A uh, bit of an odd start to this week's video. Um, I'm heading to bed. Uh, yeah, that's right. It is um, half past eight on the night before summer solstice and I'm getting up super early tomorrow to go and join in with the group. So I've paid to go for a guided swim and um, I'm really excited to see uh, the place we're going to because it's uh, on a private lake on uh, on farmland and uh, it's supposed to be a really beautiful place so quite exciting to to pay for a swim but also to see what that gives and also to be up and about so early so um time for bed and uh, i'll be getting up at about three o'clock that's gonna be a tough day at work afterwards <laughs> oh my word 3.30 in the morning it seems really early to be getting up. I so hope this is worth it, but I'm excited. And uh, I've got about um, a 30, 40 minute drive. So um, let's go find out all about the summer solstice. minute drive there felt like a little bit of a safari. I saw a fox, um, a deer, I'm sure there were more, but um, I also stopped to let a little hedgehog creep past. I thought there aren't many of those and that's the first one I've seen alive this year. The birds are tweeting, it's starting to get a bit light. I'm not going to see a sunrise because it's not uh, sunny, but I'm excited to meet the other people that are joining in. I've met one of them and she's driven down from North London. Blimey, she set off at two. I thought I was early. So we're going to make a, um, a summer crown, yeah, that's what we're making here. <laughs> I, I encourage you to swim in them, as it's uh, a nice thing to wear. Because of all the rain, it's made the groundwater come up, and because it's obviously chalk, it's a little bit murkier than it normally is. I mean, it's still really clear if you're used it to swimming in. It doesn't look like the photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on a really sunny day where it looks turquoise. <laughs> I feel yeah, I've lulled you here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, most of you are used to swimming in like the river way, so it's definitely clearer than that. <laughs> <laughs> I do have hot drinks for after, but I also Not going so water. well so far. Good job, it's biodegradable. <laughs> so here's my finished article. Uh, that's not too bad I don't think as they go um, I mean as they go I haven't really seen one before except for the one which um, Ella magically pulled out of the bush um, which looked quite a bit more dainty than this but I'm happy with it and uh, we're gonna hop on in for a swim now oh, straight in does it does it suddenly end <laughs> oh, I just push myself off and you won't be able to <laughs> Not quite breath away temperatures, but uh, quite chilly. Not quite sure that I look like a summer fairy with this on my head. <laughs> Unlike some of these, look at these, but look at Ella's one. I think she had that made professionally. Yeah, had practice. Yeah. I have had practice. Yeah. <laughs> my friends of Florence, she showed me how to do it. The oh, yeah. so there we go. Inside knowledge. Yeah, yeah, she just gave me the tip. Oh, almost a bit of sunrise over there. Well, this is the first time in a long time I've been in the water by um, before five o'clock. I don't know what the time is, but I'm... Uh, G'd up and cheered on by the temperature of the water, the fun people I've met so far, and the promise of uh, warm drink and brioche for breakfast, which sounds super. If you wanted to remove your coffee, you're all women. 
<laughs> but I'm sure Martin doesn't mind turning the other way. If you wanted to have a little proper skinny solstice, a quickie, <laughs> I don't mind. So I'm just putting it out there. And I won't film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pictures will be taken. No. <laughs> So I booked on this um, a few weeks ago and it's with a company called The Dip Advisor which is run by Elephant and um, really really great website lots of different experiences to take part in but I thought you know what I haven't done a kind of group solstice swim before I've never really made the effort to get up that early so I thought it would be um, a bit of fun and also rather than needing to um, convince people to come for a swim at that time in the morning I could go with people who'd freely chosen to do so oh well, look a weeny bit of sunshine just there possibly yeah maybe a little bit of a uh, of a sunrise so yeah so I came along and um, I've managed to go and swim in a place I wouldn't have found myself um, it, it's not that far away it feels super private and it's really really peaceful it feels like there might be deer watching us it's really nature really uh, it feels like absolutely bristling with nature if you understand what I mean what a lovely place So how far have you, uh, catch you on camera, how far have you come? Um, from uh, South London, so uh, I think it's an hour and a half drive. Oh, <laughs> hour and a half? Yeah. Like, that's a corker. What time do you get up then? Um, or do you not go to bed? I did go to bed, but it was only for like an hour really. I think I got up at like half two. Yeah, it was like, it was like, but I did go to bed stupidly late, like it was, it was an accident. No, no, no. <laughs> I was excited, I couldn't get to sleep. Yeah, same here. I went to bed really early, but uh, yeah. I was pretty excited, but um, couldn't sleep either. No, yeah, it's hard to to trust yourself that you're going to wake up. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Even with an alarm. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Worth the swim, worth the, uh, the drive? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, I've got to take in that, that crown. That's oh. the corker there. I mean, if I should do a spin. I think it's oh, yeah, a spin. That's not so good at the back, but <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. I think, I think it's all about the flowers at the front. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that is a strong look with the goggles there. Have you um, seen anything in, in the water, the goggles? Um, no, but it is quite clear. Yeah. Which is really nice. I can't see the bottom, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I brought goggles too, but um, they're polarised. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't bother. I'm loving this. It's good fun, isn't oh, that's it? That's awesome. Longest day. Coolest day of the week so far. But um, a real great way to start the day. I think I've still probably got another two hours in bed at this stage normally. It's about half five. What's yeah, like, and I was just like, what are we talking about? This is normal. <laughs> just deal with it. Buy a fat out of me then. Chocolate brioche. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. So I had to resort to putting the uh, crown on top of my bubble hat, but I think in fact in order to drive home I might just take that off. Maybe I'll take it home and give it to the dog. I'm sure she'll chew this to pieces. That was a super duper fun way to bring in the longest day of the year. Something I've not done before and um, uh, I would thoroughly recommend it. So I booked in with the Dip Advisor. It cost me £60 um, to meet on a, a, a private land to go for a swim and uh, have a little drink and some breakfast afterwards. Met some lovely people who'd come from quite a distance away. I thought that my 40 minute drive was quite away, but some had come from North London, some had come from uh, kind of Southwest London, and uh, a couple of others had even camped overnight. So it, it really drew us in and the group were really lovely. And uh, of course, we all finished off with a cheeky uh, traditional skinny dip. So um, what could be better for bringing in the longest day of the year. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you did give it a like, 
drop me a comment and let me know what you did for the solstice and uh, if you do like them, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking on my face dinging the little bell and you'll see when the next one's out and i'll see you next time bye